can I do for you today? Oh, something real nasty. Come on, Paul. You know, we go through this every time. Now, what do you want? Well, you, naked, after work. <laughs> oh, well, now you're making progress. At least now you want to wait till my shift is over. Well, we could go back to my place, open a bottle, get lost in love. <laughs> I'd rather have a root canal. <laughs> she wants me. Hey, here, put this down your pants and cool that thing off. Jimmy, I want her. Bad. Yeah, her and every other woman on two legs. No, no. This is true love. <clears throat> oh, I, uh, thought you found true love at the bar last night. Well, that was different. How's that? Well, I was drunk. And I was stupid. Uh, and today, you're sober. Mm. Hey, Jess, you got a minute? What is it, Jimmy? Listen, I need to know if I can leave a little early today. Uh, what's a little? Um, about an hour. What for? Well, I've just got a call from my agent, and they're having callbacks for General Hospital today. She cashed in on a favor to get me in. They haven't found what they're looking for uh, yet. Can't you go when your shift is over? No, see, um, the callbacks are at 3 o'clock, and my shift's not over until 3.30. Jesse, this would really be great. You know what, Jimmy? I don't think so. Jesse, please, this would really, really be... I don't think so, Jimmy. Well, how about if I um, came in an hour early tomorrow, on my own time, you wouldn't even have to pay me. You yeah, but that doesn't me. help me today. I mean, I have to have people picking up your slack, you know? Come on, Jesse. This could be my big break. Why are you being so inflexible? I'm not being inflexible. Look, you have responsibilities here. I need you here. I'm sorry, this is too short notice. I this may be your big break, but this is your bill-paying job right now, okay? I need you here. You've got responsibilities. You said I would come in... Tomorrow, I heard you, but that doesn't solve my problem today. All right? Look, I, I, I can't have someone just running around uh, picking up your tables. No. You know, you can't stop me from leaving. No, but I can stop you from coming back. What are you saying? I'm saying you want to go on your audition, go. But when you don't book General Hospital, see if they'll pay your rent. Because i got a stack of resumes here from people who want your job. So what's it going to be? You know, you can be a real prick sometimes. Hey, that's life. See ya. Hey, yeah. hey can I ask you something? Sure. Did you take a gorilla pill today? What? You're being a real jerk. We're all worried about you. What is wrong? Look, I'm just tired of dealing with the bullshit. I mean, first Bobby, now Jimmy, the auditions. You know I... what, Jesse? You really need to let go of this anti-actor thing. Flo, I'm not anti-actor. I want them here when they're supposed to be here. Whatever. You know what? I remember a guy about 10 years ago who was on a show called Ten is Too Much. Yeah, what's your point? That was you. And you were doing the exact same thing these guys are doing. You know, you have to wait till you get your next break, and sometimes you've got to cancel your shift at your restaurant Look, job. Look, I never stood anyone up. I was always on time. I knew I had responsibilities. Okay, well, remind me to nominate you for the Jesus Christ Award for being so perfect, okay? When do you have time to heal the sick and the dying? Point taken. Hey. Thanks. Mmm. I'll take table 16 if you don't mind. Excuse me, that's my section. I know. You don't mind, do you? Barbara, you do this to me all the time. Michael, I've been trying to meet these guys forever. A little favor, please? <sighs> Table 16 is yours. Oh, you are so fabulous. <sighs> so I'm told. Hi. Can I get you handsome gentlemen some coffee while you decide? We're both going to have the uh, pasta special. Good choice. Let me guess. You're an actress. <laughs> Why, yes, I am. Aren't you Barbara T. Masters? Yes, I am. I'm flattered. <laughs> I'll be right back with your order, okay? You know her? Not really. Then you're familiar with her work? No, I'm not familiar with her work. Her headshot. So where were you? I can't believe it. Who told you? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Were you the alcoholic hooker on NYPD Blue last week? <laughs> yes, that was me. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Oh, See, sir. I told you. You were wonderful. Oh, God, so thank you. I killed you all. Oh, so was I. I'm <laughs> Thanks. What's your name? It's Ellen. Ellen, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. Uh -huh. Can I? I can't wait. 
Can we have your autograph? Oh, of course. Oh, thank great. you. <laughs> Thanks. Barbara. Yeah. Would you mind getting me a piece of paper? Sure. Here, this will do. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, it's to Ellen mm -hmm. and. And I'm Sarah with an H. Table three wants to check. I know. I know! This just in, Channel 5 has learned that there has been yet another in a series of brutal beatings on women in the Culver City area. There are no suspects at this time, but Channel 5 will have more details for you later in this newscast. For now, I'm Russell Porter, live KTLA, Channel 5. Oh, bye. You have a phone call. I'll make it quick because we're busy. <laughs> Hey, this is Barbara. Hey, Jay, what's up? Oh, really? Today and tomorrow? 6 and 8 p.m. Okay. Well, are they looking for sexy or slutty? <laughs> well, then I can make it tomorrow. Because I'm not feeling very slutty today. Yeah? <laughs> okay, 7, 4, 5, wait. 5, 3, North La Sienica. Great. Thanks. I will. All right, I'll tell you how it goes. Bye. Oh, Barbara, I think I left my sunglasses here yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Um, I gave them to the hostess. Oh, great, thanks. You bet. Oh, um, before I forget, are you up for the Melrose Place audition, too? My agent just called about it. You know, really? they're looking for a real slutty look, and I know you'd be perfect. No, I don't... Where is it at? You know, I haven't done that show yet. No? I can't believe my agent didn't call me about it. No. You know I was on NYPD Blue last week. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard. <laughs> I heard you were good. Thanks. I, I didn't see it myself. Let oh, me write it down for you, though, okay? Okay. It's 7453 South La Cienega. It's today, between 6 and 8 p.m. Okay. South La Cienega? Yeah. Well, I, where is that? It's um, Culver City, you know, down by Washington Boulevard. Wow, that's strange. What? I mean... It, an audition all the way down there, and it was a creepy part of town. Oh, isn't that weird? Well, for a good role. Anyway, thanks for the info. You bet. Hey, good luck. Thanks. And break a leg. Yeah, I know you'll break a leg, too. Possibly your arm. Your neck. 